welcome my beautiful signs and souls of the zodiac i'm brenda brenda tarot and i'm here again today to bring you your tarot and oracle card forecast for this week i truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing liking sharing and subscribing please be sure when you do subscribe to click that little bell button and make it ring and you'll get notified immediately when any of my card readings go out for you to view and also when i choose to go live and give out free card messages and spirit messages as you know this is strictly a general collective reading and that means that not every single card or the energy that they carry may resonate with every single one of you so take what you can from it and throw the rest out into the universe for others if you want clarity, accuracy, and answers to any personal questions, then I welcome and invite you to click the little icon in the top right-hand corner of this video, and it will take you directly to my website where you can see the services that I offer. But all that information is posted below this video. So my beautiful signs and souls of the zodiac, please view this video with an open mind. You have the mindset and free will to create the life you desire and the direction you wish to go on this personal journey. So let's get on with your reading. Welcome my beautiful Taurus. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here today to bring you your weekly December 20th to the 26th Tarot and Oracle Card Forecast. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everybody this week. Uh, taking a quick look at this reading, I think that, you know, you're going to be taking time and pulling away from a situation to think about it before you move forward. Uh, your crowning energy is the hermit. This could be taking, you know, you're going on the next stage of your journey as you're, you know, as you're ending this month uh, with this week. And I think that you're going to be able to communicate clearly with people. I think you're going to be discussing, showcasing, promoting yourself and maybe joining or getting together with a group of people or even getting together as a team uh, that could be to have to do with your profession. You're going to see happiness. Oh my gosh, you've got the, the Ten of Cups, happy ever after, harmony in your home life, your children, you're going to have stability with finances. Even though you've pulled away here, something's going to come in here very quickly. There's going to be a lot of information, a lot of activity, a flurry of activity activity around you. You have this goal and you you continue to look towards the horizon for your ship to come in. Know that you might have to go the distance. Put yourself out there. Maybe change where it is you want to go. Originally you had thought you wanted to go. Whether it's pursuing your career, a new, a new focus on your career, partnerships, contracts, signing contracts in that department because that's what this card really reflects about. I think you're doing your work well. You may you may be putting out a proposal or an idea or you may have already done that and you're waiting to hear how it's going to be received and how they're going to react to it. Know that you've done everything right. Okay, stay focused on your goal. I do think that you're going to be able you might be traveling in the in this near future as well uh, and it might you might have to go the distance for your job. You might have to travel to a new area for a new job. But you know what? Stay focused because your ships are your ships coming in. You're going to get a great idea here coming into you. Uh, I think it may have to do, you know, with something exciting, something new, a new event, a new endeavor, something coming in that's going to totally rock your world and, and make you want to move in this exciting new direction. And you will be faced with making lots of choices, lots of decisions here that you have to make, uh, you know, based on the direction you want to go, whether it's your a relationship or whether it has to do with your, your uh, you know, your job and your career. You're, you know, you need to surrender here to uh, unhealthy relationships, okay? Let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and be surrounded by positive people. So, you know, um, you may have pulled away from a relationship here because the hermit does talk about that. Okay, and there may be a, re a reason that you've had to do that. For some of you, you will be walking away from a toxic friendship or a toxic partnership or a toxic, uh, you know, partner or, or uh, 
romance here of uh, relationships. So it's pulling away, giving yourself time to reflect on what you truly want to do, okay? If it has to do with this relationship, I think you're coming to the realization that it's not what you truly want. And as you're going forward into this new year of January, I think you've had a long, hard look at what it is you want to do. And you may have been trying to communicate with this individual. You know, you've been trying to be a team player. You've been trying to understand this situation. But I think this moment is new to you. Something's coming into you. You've got this, uh, you know, this epiphany, this ace of wands that says, well, get ready for this new beginning. Your emotions are going to come into play here. Okay, this is, you know, time to consider what you always wanted to do and remember the past with love. Now, this is emotion and emotion usually deals with the cups and the number six on, on the major arcana in the cups is, or rather the major arcana is the, is the lovers. Okay, so uh, it's kind of like the ace of cups. I think of it as the two of cups as well, but I always also think of the lovers and I think that you're going to, uh, you're going to think about the past, but I think you're going to realize that there's nothing you can do about changing a situation here. And I do believe that some of you are going to pull away from a friendship or a relationship here. And the reason I say that is, is because you've got the mask. And the mask talks about somebody who really hasn't been honest with you, told the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help them God. They've been wearing a mask. They've been portraying something that they're not, or they have deceived you into thinking something like that. They're very manipulative, and I think in time you finally saw the picture. They, they, uh, they hide behind this mask and only tell you what they want you to hear, okay, and what they want you to see. So I think, you know, you've thought long and hard about a relationship here, and I think you're going to pull away from it. But I do see you moving in a new progressive positive direction. Uh, you you know, the outcome is you want harmony, you want happiness, you want the, the perfect uh, happy home life here. And the Ten of Cups says you're going to get it, happy ever after, at the end of the day. I think that you're moving on, you've had to make some major decisions here uh, with something about your life. It could have to do with the, with the, 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 the prosperity and abundance coming into you that, you know, you've put out a proposal, an idea, something like that, and you're waiting for it. And it could have to do with your career, but I think you're going to be very busy. Uh, you know, you're, you're going the distance here to make your life happier. You've got the bow, and the bow is you're highly thought of. So whatever you're doing here, the changes that you're making, um, you know, you have the ability to light the path for other people, but when the hermit, when you go into hermit mode, you're thinking, you're processing, you're going on a brand new journey and you're reflecting on the past and wanting to work towards a new way of looking at things. Uh, you know, this is tapping into your inner self, your higher self, your guidance and saying, I need to do what's right for me. And for some of you, the right thing is for you to get rid of a toxic relationship and you're going to do that. You're pulling away from that energy. Because the outcome is you want to be happy. And I think you're going to get some brand new energy com coming towards you. This brand new energy here. A new beginning. Okay. And belief, a belief in yourself and your abilities. Okay. This is <clears throat> going to bring you more passion into your life than you've had in the past. Okay. This is a fresh start. This is beginning. When the Ace of Wands shows up, it talks about this. Okay. It's up to you now to push for what it is that you want. Making those choices and decisions that profound choices and decisions that are going to benefit you so you can reach this ultimate goal of happy ever after. Um, you know, keep promoting yourself. I think that's what you're doing here. Some of you it could be with your career and your business, being a good team, team player and <clears throat> being able to step up and know what's right for you. And you're articulately conveying that maybe to other people. And, you know, you're going the distance to do this. You may be traveling somewhere, you may be relocating, you may be moving home, okay, moving house, going somewhere else. But I want you to know that with this three of wands, you're definitely going towards your goal of fulfillment, okay? You're starting a brand new journey and the whole thing here, the whole, in, the whole picture here that this is conveying to us is that you are going on a new journey. You're going in a new direction. You're making the changes here so that you can go towards your new passion, okay? Uh, it's time to work for what you want, okay? Go towards it. Go take the distance to do that. You're doing the work and you're going to get results because of it. And everything that you're doing here is right, 
okay you're going to be very busy i think in the near future and in the new year here wow so let's clarify this hermit let's see what we have here with the hermit you've got temperance so a perfect card to land on the hermit because the hermit is pulling back taking time to reflect thinking about his next part of his journey where he wants to go how he's going to do it and who he's taking with him and it takes time so the temperance says this is what you need to do the all over energy here even though you're going to be getting busy as we push through this this week you are going to take your time to think long and hard about what you're doing here getting rid of what no longer serves you removing that negative uh that negative and unhealthy and toxic uh relationship or the energy of someone around you and it's taking you time to think about that okay to do it right now your first card here that you've got is you know coming in here with the three of pentacles communicating really well with others being a good team player is the empress you've stepped up into the leadership role she wants abundance she wants luxuries and she brings that into herself she's very powerful but she's also a very mothering figure and that means she knows how to nurture herself before she goes out there and conveys that to other people she's a great communicator as well uh, she's able to look over her court and 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 realize that she wants to nurture and take care of them as well but she first has to take care of herself and so she steps up into this brand new beginning okay she steps up into her power here okay she takes she she wants abundance to come in and she is going to do this now this could be you joining a team here or taking care of other people around you as well you're happy ever after card it doesn't get much better than that and look what lands on it oh my god the star so you're going to see long-term positive optimistic energy coming into you you're going to be able to make those plans again i said you're conveying who you are you've stepped up into your power here with the with the empress and with the three of pentacles conveying and 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 showcasing yourself what it is you have to offer and what you want and you're going to get that happy ever after because the star says you're you are the star on your own stage okay you're the headliner here you're able to uh reach for the stars now okay stars the limit and you're going to get that happiness coming in you're going to be very busy lots of activity lots of things happening queen of pentacles lands on that giving birth to your dreams <clears throat> okay see how she holds that pentacle she's giving birth to her dreams her abundance is going to come in finally she realizes that she's going in this new direction and she can look forward to her future being very busy maybe you're going to be dealing with somebody coming into the into the family here maybe there's going to be children around you maybe this is the flurry of activity i mean i realize we're in lockdown here but something's coming into play here where you're going to be very very busy and it could be giving birth to your dreams your goals your aspirations your job your career your family <clears throat> stay focused you know continue with your dreams here uh going in the direction you want to go here with the two you know you get the two of wands and then you also get the three of wands right so i think you know you're going to be able to see you know that you're moving forward here you're progressing you get the ace of wands the two of wands and the three of wands so this is all about you know realizing that the world is your oyster and you have this chance now to make your mark on it okay so step forward do this step up don't be afraid it might require you having to step into yourself and your higher self and be strong when you're doing this but i think you're gonna take a deep breath and step back and say you know i have to be patient i'm waiting for this to happen uh you know i may have to go the distance but i'm not going to get bent out of shape about it she looks at situations in kindness compromise understanding and realizes that when she's trying to communicate okay and get her get her uh, and get her story across and, and her her subject across and what she needs to convey she does it with that with that attitude she doesn't go in there and try to win a situation or push against resistance okay so you can catch more bees with honey than you'll ever catch with vinegar right you you know you're making your mark here you've done something here you're planting your seeds well and you're waiting for your harvest to come in it's coming okay it's just taking time because above that was the temperance card and the hermit energy which is basically saying all of this is going to take time okay but stay focused okay because what you've done is right you had a hard battle to fight you've got the nine of swords you felt like you were pushing dead weight uphill you felt like you you've had to fight your battles and now you've stayed focused wait be patient you've done everything that you can do right and you will hear okay you will hear and i do believe it's good news because you've got this ace of rods here saying it's something exciting 
Yes, you have to make choices and decisions on an emotional level, but keep your emotions intact, okay? Uh, you know, this is the cups. Cups are all about emotions and keeping your head, uh, you know, uh, attached to your shoulders when you make this decision, okay? So don't get caught up in your head. Uh, you know, you're going to be able to do this, all right? Um, you know, this is to your advantage that you step up, all right? Don't feel like, you know, you're not going to be able to do this because you will be able to do this, all right? And when and, and you're going to make this choice based on what's going to work out best for you, okay? This is about, you know, wanting more, wishful thinking. You know, this is about, you know, having all these options and offers coming into you that you will have to make a choice on. And I think it could have to do with your job. This is, look, the champion card. The, the, the chariot lands on this. So you've made the choice here, okay, to go out there into your arena, to, to, to forge out into new territory. And you know there's risks, and you know there's going to be consequences. But you're going out there anyway, okay? So don't get conflicted and up in your head. You're going to be able to win something here. So stay in your due diligence, stay in your determination, stay focused and go out there because you're going to come back a champion. You're going to be able to pat yourself on the back for a great achievement that you've accomplished. Keep focused because this exciting new endeavor coming into you is going to be just that exciting. You might have to deal with competition, okay? Somebody else might want what you have. All right, this is the five of wands, but it also says you're promoting yourself. You're constantly trying to prove yourself. All right, uh, but you know, the best way to walk away from conflict here, uh, you know, is to pick your battles wisely. Don't get involved in something that's menial. Stay focused. Keep looking for your ships to come in. You've got the four of cups. So you may have been in a situation where you felt you were losing out on, a, on, on a something or you felt bored, stuck stagnant not it's not seeing that you know things are going to work out and the reason this has landed i think here on on this three of of uh, wands is because the three of wands also speaks of patience don't give up keep looking for your ship to come in you've done all the work you could do here with the seven of pentacles now you're waiting to hear okay how you're, it's going to be received and again it's taking time the temperance and the hermit card shows up yeah things aren't going to happen really fast but when it does, you're going to be really, really busy. So keep your options and your mind open and be patient. There's new offers and opportunities coming in and your cups are going to fill again. Beautiful. So I think all in all, you've, you've come to the conclusion that you are going, you know, something's taking time, but you're doing everything that you can possibly do and you're going to win here. Okay. You've got the chariot. You're going to win. You've got the star. You've got the ten of cups. You're definitely going to win. Uh, something here and you're going to get ahead of the game and I think you know for some of you you're walking away from a toxic situation or a relationship because there's been some deception there hasn't been complete clarity and honesty in it and now's the time for you to step up and do what's right for you and again I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here to look forward to stay focused my beautiful Taurus, um, because I do think you're going to see as this week unfolds, you're going to be able to give birth to your dreams. So it's just going to be sort of slow, starting off slow here. You're going on a new journey as you forge through this week and you're thinking about the new year. And remember, my beautiful, beautiful bulls, the universe and the divine, your higher self, your higher power want you to succeed and find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. My prayers are that you stay in continued good all over well-being, health, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, and physically. Please play safe, stay safe, and be safe. And I'll see you soon.